Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabby and today we are gonna have a sad video, I would say, because we are gonna talk about discontinued fragrances. I'm not gonna mention in here the fragrances that everyone knows already that are discontinued, like, I don't know, Midnight Poison from Dior, Gucci, Envy Me. I'm not gonna mention fragrances that have been discontinued in the past. I'm gonna mention fragrances that have been discontinued recently. Maybe you don't know that they're not available anymore. Yes, you might find them on other websites, but on their official website, it's not available anymore. And probably in a few years, it's gonna be just impossible to find them. So yeah, having here a bunch of fragrances um, there are other perfumes that maybe I don't have in my collection, but I know that they are very, very popular and very well loved. Uh, by the community and i just want to share with you this information i did my research i basically went on their official website for each designer brand and i checked what is still available what is not and i'm here to share with you what unfortunately you cannot get anymore or if you can get it get it now because it's gonna be gone very very soon so before we start if you like this video don't forget the big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and now let's jump in all right like i said i'm not gonna mention every single fragrance that obviously has been discontinued i'm gonna mention the ones that i either love or, or i used to love uh, or other fragrances that i know that got quite popular here in the community and they're discontinued now so let's start with the brand longcomb longcomb loves to release a billion flankers especially for la vie belle and la nuit trésor I love it and I hate it in the same time because yes, it's nice that we're getting a similar type of scent, something that we're familiar with, but maybe we're gonna love the new flanker more, but in the same time, they're just releasing way too many. And it, this is available for every single brand, to be honest. At this point, probably that's why I kind of stopped buying designers even though maybe i really like a flanker i just don't buy it because i know in three four years that perfume is going to be discontinued and i just hate that i absolutely hate that i have in front of me probably around 20 fragrances maybe more than that that are discontinued now and with lots of them I absolutely adore them and i know for a fact that i can't find them anymore if i want um i, I can buy backup bottles from other websites but then i'm like Maybe in two years, when I'm going to finish my bottle, I'm not going to like this DNA anymore. I just like to have the option, you know, I, do I want another bottle or do I not? We're not going to have that option with these fragrances. It's either you finish your bottle and then you're done or you, bu you buy a bunch of backup bottles. Now, like I said, let's start with Lancome. Uh, they discontinued from the La Vie Belle line a line that has probably 20 30 flankers they discontinued the absolute version that i know i didn't have that one but i know it was very popular they discontinued the intense version don't confuse it with intensema intensema the raspberry one is still available but the intense is gone and then they discontinued eclat eau de toilette they kept the eau de parfum which i'm very very happy because i really really like the eau de parfum but I do really like the Eau de Toilette as well. This one, unfortunately, is discontinued. And what happened with this? What happens with discontinued fragrances? I tend not to use them because I know that it's discontinued. You can see my bottle is like, it's not almost full, but I didn't use that much just because I've I've heard that it's discontinued. I checked the website, and yes, it is. So I'm not using this one anymore. Then we have from the a la folie line we have a la folie um la nuit trésor sorry la nuit trésor line we have a la folie which you know that i'm heartbroken i generally need to buy a back a bottle this was the best la nuit trésor in my opinion yeah they discontinued this one i don't understand why and then they discontinued as well as noticed on the website dantel the roses I never had that one, but it's just a bit strange because they released that flanker probably two years ago. If you love that perfume, it's gone. Sorry, but it's gone. Let's move on to another designer house. All of these are going to be designers because designers tend to discontinue, discontinue more fragrances comparing to niche. With niche, maybe they're, they're, they're going to discontinue a fragrance that was released 10 years ago, 15 years ago. 
we already saw it on com two years ago they released that uh, that flanker right now is discontinued now let's move on to gerla i can't believe this one is not permanent tizura from aqua allegoria honestly i've tried so many aqua allegorias that fine like that fine but tizura is just something special it is gone it's gone. You can't find it anywhere right now. I was looking to buy a, a backup bottle because I love this one during the summertime. It's completely gone. I don't know anything that's similar to this one. If you know something that is like very similar to uh, Tizura, please let me know. Then they discontinued the Intense version and they released a new Intense. I never smelled that one. I, I'm actually going to smell it just to see if it's similar. The blue bottle is the old one. This one has like this like blueberry candy flows type of scent i really really like it but it's gone i hope again i hope the new intense is similar but usually when they release a new intense or they discontinue the last one the previous one they tend to discontinue the previous previous one that was maybe a success and then they release a new intense that's extremely similar to the original i don't get why i don't understand it but yeah this one is gone and then obviously probably everyone already knows Gourmand Coquin, this entire line has been discontinued, but especially Gourmand Coquin is discontinued. This is a beautiful, boozy chocolate. Right now on the market, there are a billion other chocolate fragrances. Obviously, I released a chocolate fragrance, Chocolate Queen with Navitus. Um, back then, this one was so unique, like super, super unique because we didn't have that many alternatives. I'm not that sad anymore, but I'm still um, a little bit because even though there are lots of chocolate fragrances, none of them smell exactly like this. Um, and yeah, it's kind of impossible to find. I don't understand why. Now, something that I was not prepared for, Jean-Paul Gaultier from the Scandal line, they discontinued Scandal by Night, which it's one of the sexiest designer fragrances that was on the market, it's gone. And then I just realized today that it discontinued Scandal à Paris. Why? I don't know. If you want something similar, you can get um, Keali Deja Vu, Deja Vu White Flowers or you can get BDK Passessoir. They have a very similar vibe. But yeah, I, I like to pay, you know, the designer price for that DNA. is gone, it's discontinued. They kept for some reason so Scandal that literally nobody like liked i had it sold it after one month like a weird super rose with raspberry and then i've noticed that that gold scandal gold it's available on the website as well that was released i think two years ago and it was exclusive to dubai or something like that it's available on the website but everyone said that it's, it's not the best so yeah these two are gone gucci guilty absolute is gone they have other gucci guilty for me this one was the best of the best the other ones are just boring plain i don't care for them and then they have that gardenia line i know the pink and green bottle i don't care for them this one was amazing it's gone um armani you already know armani coat satin has been discontinued discontinued a long time ago such a beautiful perfume i do have a backup bottle I love this thing. The Kashmir Armani Code Kashmir is discontinued as well. And then obviously they discontinued um, Armani C Intense, the old version. They released the new one. With this, I agree. The new Intense, in my opinion, is better than the old one. But then they discontinued Armani C Fiori, which lots of people adored, was amazing. It's gone. Why? I don't know. That's, they're pushing that le passione passione whatever the red bottle that is just generic is playing that pushing that one and that is continuing the other ones i do not understand why but yeah this is what designers do let's move on to mugler you already know alien and sense absolute was probably the best alien that we got and now it's discontinued and another one that's discontinued and i do have in my collection it's all sublime all sublime was the perfect summer scent like alien like summer take on an alien fragrance obviously we have goddess we have goddess intense they're cute they're fine also blind for me was amazing is discontinued i want to wear it i can't because in my head i'm just like is this continued i don't want to like use it but i'm gonna use it i'm gonna use it this summer because at this point probably i'm gonna buy a backup bottle just for 
two or three perfumes I have in here with all of the other ones. I don't care. Do whatever you want. Discontinue all of your fragrances. But I'm, I'm genuinely very, very close to like, it done with buying designers. Yes, they're more affordable. They're not affordable anymore because they raise the prices a lot. They're more affordable than niche, but I know with niche at least that that perfume is going to be on the market for less, at least 10 years. So yeah, that's why I'm more like a niche girl now because designers are just ridiculous with discontinuing every single fragrance. Also, Blime is gone. Another amazing fragrance and I feel like the whole collection is discontinued. Uh, Roberto Cavalli, Gemma di Paradiso. Why? Don't know. Generally, don't know. This was amazing for spring and summer. This one, it's quite a unique fragrance. They discontinued it. Everyone used to love it. Everyone was raving about it. They discontinued it. Why? Don't ask me. Kenzo, I found something heartbroken for me. I already knew that a flower elixir is discontinued, which is the best and the only flower um, that I like from Kenzo. All of the other ones are just nope. Like their entire flower line, it's a big no for me, but the Elixir version, it's amazing. I just noticed on their website that um, their word collection is still there. All of them are not the best, except for word power, which is amazing amazing this unisex salt seed fragrance it's stunning i love this one it's discontinued from the entire line they decided to discontinue the best one why i don't know again i i'm just done i'm just done at this point i need to buy back a bottle because this is such a unique summer fragrance but yeah it's gone now uh burberry they discontinued burberry her intense such a beautiful berry scent, a little bit of Baccarat Rouge DNA, but lots, lots of berries in it. It's gone, completely gone. Next brand that I love to discontinue, Valentino. Uh, the whole Valentina line has been discontinued. I remember years ago, I used to love these bottles. Like I would see them online, I'd be like, oh my God, that's so, so beautiful. The entire line discontinued. I do have Valentina Pink which is a jammy rose, like rose and raspberry. I love it. It's impossible for me to find it again. So yeah, this one is gone. Um, Nina Ricci, they discontinued the entire Extase line. As you can see, I have Shante Extase, Rose Extase, and then what's the name for that one? This one is just Extase, just the original. Beautiful fragrances They keep pushing that apple like also with that apple i don't know i think it's just nina ricci i think they have released probably like 40 50 flankers so far honestly it's ridiculous and on the website there are like three or four available none of them are good none of them are unique these were actually very very good fragrances they're gone they're gone so yeah nina ricci i'm done i'm, I'm not gonna buy those you know those apples because they don't last they smell just don't smell expensive that this this line was amazing and was affordable so but now it's gone Paco Rabanne I was expecting this one okay I have in here and here Aqua Leger they released Aqua Paco Rabanne Olympia Aqua and then they released Paco Rabanne Olympia Aqua Leger Aqua Leger it's an amazing 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 um like salty white floral type of scent i love it so much is this continue now i was expecting it usually when they release a flanker over flanker over flanker is getting discontinued this happened with this one uh what else do i have in here um oh some fragrances that maybe i don't have in my collection but i know they're very very loved by the community tom ford noir Parfum is gone i wasn't the biggest fan but i know lots of you love that one it's gone you can't find it anymore i mean i think you can still find it but it's overpriced it's not from the from the official website and in a few years it's going to be completely gone um maison martin margiela lipstick on i never tested that one but everyone was saying that was the best from the replica line like the best of the best a beautiful um lipsticky iris is gone and then uh tea escape which again, I never tested. Everyone said that was amazing. They released later on matcha meditation that I had was cute, but 
it didn't have the same success, success why would you release another tea fragrance and discontinue the one that everyone loves i don't get it i generally do not get it uh what other fragrances we have oh salvatore ferragamo from uh, amo ferragamo they discontinued flowerful same dna as the original but this one has a user note not the most unique fragrance but it's a no-brainer for me it's gone and then something that I was like recommending you guys and I didn't realize that it's discontinued. Signorina Eleganza. All of the other ones I've noticed are still on the website. Eleganza, which is probably the best one, is gone. Again, I'm, I'm going to stop complaining. I'm going to stop buying because this is getting ridiculous. Um, Elisab, you already know that they discontinued their entire Privé collection. I never tested them, but I've heard good, good things about the Rose one and then the Tonka Bean one. It's gone. They released a new perfume. It's called Elixir. It's cute. It's nice. It's a very, very sweet orange blossom. I want to say it's the most unique. It kind of feels like a flanker of Elisa Ble Parfa, but it's a nice one. But again, they discontinued. If you loved, I know so many people used to love the Privé line. It's gone. Um, Dolce & Gabbana. From Dolce & Cabana, obviously, we have the light blue ones, but we know, at least they tell us, that this is going to be limited edition, it's going to be available this year. But they discontinued uh, Dolce Sunshine. I never had that one, but I know lots of you love that perfume. It's gone. Dolce Garden is still available. Uh, Dolce Sunshine, uh, I think it's Sun or Sunshine. I think it's Sunshine. It's gone. So if you love that one, buy yourself a back of bottle or just deal with it because that one is, is discontinued um what else we have in here ah lolita lempica lolita land you already know this one is discontinued amazing amazing woman is gone they discontinued l as well that was a long time ago with lolita lolita lempica i generally don't know any new fragrances that are like interesting or anything like that so yeah this was a fragrance that I really, really liked. I'm going to buy a backup bottle because I can still find it and it's very affordable. But I just, I just don't, generally don't understand why. Um, Hugo Boss, the scent, the private accord, the chocolate orange one, is discontinued. Literally, it's, I know it didn't last. Like, yes, all of us, we said that. But was the best from the entire line. It's gone. Why? I, I I don't understand. Obviously, right now we have better options for chocolate, orange, this, this type of DNA, but they're more expensive as well. Uh, but yeah, this one is gone. And then the last one, I'm not really sure. It's from Dior, Fev Delicious. Fev is not available on the website, but if you go to boutiques, some boutiques are going to have it, but it's not on display. You have to ask them if they have the fragrance usually they have just big bottles they don't have the 40 ml bottles i asked some sales assistants that work uh, work for dior and all of them they told me that i don't know i generally don't know if it's discontinued or not so i don't know either it's not my favorite fragrance but i know that lots of you absolutely love that perfume um i feel like maybe if you have a bottle and you don't like it maybe wait another year or two and we're gonna see exactly if it's gonna be discontinued i think it's gonna be discontinued generally i think it's gonna be discontinued i don't get why because that was the best seller if you ask me uh but if you want to sell it you can sell it for a better price or if you can find the bottle maybe get the bottle now and then if you don't like it just sell it later because people are gonna still buy it um but yeah these are all of the fragrances that um, at least I'm aware of that are discontinued. Like I said, I didn't mention the ones that we all, like all of us, we already know that they're discontinued. Um, yeah, I'm sad. I'm just, at this point, I'm like, okay, okay, what's next? Discontinued, discontinued La Belle, the Le Parfum version. Discontinue it. Yeah, do whatever you want. Discontinue what else? I, I generally don't know. Discontinue everything. Just discontinue everything and give us just uh, fruity floral scents that smell like everything else. Discontinue everything that's unique in your collection because I am just done and I'm just tired. To, like I went to the to the stores. I, I'm going to the stores. I'm testing new new re new releases, new flankers, and they all just smell exactly the same. Like with a little tweet. No. I'm, I'm, I'm at this point with designers i know that lots of you are asking me to review new design new releases but i'm like 
They always made the same. The same. When it's gonna be one that is gonna smell amazing, I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna be the first one to let you know, but right now they all smell the same. And I just don't care for them anymore. So yeah, that was the video. Let me know in the comments down below if you know any other designer fragrances that are discontinued. Maybe something that you know that I love and I'm not aware of. Let me know if it's discontinued so uh, you can break my heart even more. And yeah, that was it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget the big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and like always, I'm gonna see you in my next one. Bye bye.